Good morning, my friends. Welcome to another fourth line day in the Maya. Literally the right angle cross of Maya still. And as we look at this fourth line, we can see the sun, our transit of personality, expression, and life force in the gate of growth. This is the line of the middleman. As we continue our journey exploring the gate 42 increase, this is the gate of growth where the sun is bombarding us with 70% of the neutrino streams that are imprinting us for a temporary moment snapshot in time. That fourth line, the middleman, we have the moon exalting this line. The quintessential manifestation of the mediator, the maturity to bring growth through mediation. And Venus detriments this line where the gift to establish and maintain relationships is ill-suited in this position to act in mediation, where harmony must take a back seat to pragmatism. In other words, a lack of maturity, where the power to harmonize distorts mediation and limits growth. Where we can see this energy is being grounded, again in the gate 32, duration, the gate of continuity. The fourth line reads, right is might. Jupiter exalts this line. Even in times of change, certain underlying principles endure. The instinct to maintain one's principles in times of change. And Saturn detriments this line, where Jupiter will establish right action in the larger social realm. Saturn's will lead to inner strength and endurance, as long as it is not threatened from the outside. The instinct to maintain one's principles, as long as one's security is not threatened. Now let's go explore Mercury again. We can see that Mercury has moved into the fourth line as well. Mercury, our transit that gives us some kind of communication and thinking. The 27, nourishment, the gate of caring. In the fourth line reads, generosity. This is about learning the natural sharing of attained abundance. Jupiter exalts this line. Magnanimous and qualitative sharing, the gift of rewarding those who are deserving, the power and strength to share generously. And on the flip side, Mars detriments this line. Indiscriminate sharing. The potential loss of power and strength through indiscriminate sharing. And Venus bringing our values and mores for the day. Venus in this values and relating the transit through the gate 37, the family, this gate of friendship. Fourth line reads leadership by example where we're learning about any member of the family may take on a leading role through exemplary behavior. Moon exalts this line, the manifestation of the highest principles in everyday and practical affairs. The possibility of the highest principles in all relationships resulting in a leadership role. And Saturn detriments this line. A conservatism that generally only accepts the leadership of the father, who may or may not be a valued role model. The possibility of being insensitive to the leadership of anyone other than those accepted by tradition. So by now, you should have gotten a good flavor for the fourth line. Fourth line days are great for being friendly, for influencing those that you know, for reaching into the network to either give or ask for favors, to schmooze, if that is something that is foreign to you as it is to me, I only have one fourth line, to make small talk, you could say. So fourth lines are really great with their influence. The better that they are known and that other people know them, and the bigger and larger their reach, the further and further their influence spreads. So I remember 
doing projector, living your designs way back in the day. And one of the things I would do with my students is look at famous human design projectors. And one of the things you'll notice when you start looking at famous people is that there are an inordinately large amount of two fours and four six, fourth lines really have that rubbing shoulders game of it's all who you know down pat. Building, if they are generators, strong networks. Now, it really depends if that person is a body that is a four versus a mind that is a four. Really depends on how that shows up. Very different. And of course, depends on which gate is in their incarnation cross, that sun or earth on the conscious or unconscious side of the body graph. So fourth line days, we need to be very careful of burnout. Burnout being a hallmark of the fourth line. Why? Because schmoozing takes energy. So again today, for those of you who are feeling the burn, the burn out, remember to take it easy on these days. If fourth line energy is not normally your trip, you may notice that you don't have as much energy, or maybe you have lots more energy to schmooze, to amuse, to have fun with friends. Remember to take good care of yourself on these fourth line days. And until next time, namaste.